Uh, I, once again, I want to uh, extend uh, the great appreciation that the organizers have for everyone coming out to the event today and how important it is for all of our families and our communities to celebrate the women in our lives and the daughters that make up pretty much the center of any society and any nation in the world. I want to uh, introduce, though, some of our uh, elected representatives that are here. Uh, some of the elected re representatives will be speaking a little bit later on in the program. But first, let me introduce and recognize MP Linda Duncan from Edmonton Strathcona. Also, uh, MLA Rachel Notley, Edmonton Strathcona. Council City Councilors Tony Caterina, Don Iveson, and Karen Piper today. It's always very hard for you. And also, those of you who had a chance to, uh, to do some of the walk and also visit the information fair, we're really uh, grateful that you had a chance to do that before the program started. I hope that you enjoyed yourself and making that those symbolic uh, efforts uh, and participation really does send a very strong and positive message to everyone else. So without taking up too much more time, I want to uh, introduce Sharan Kara uh, as chair of the International Association of Citizens for a Civil Society. Okay. Ladies, gentlemen, and friends of Daughters Day, welcome Welcome to the second annual Daughters' Day celebration. The word daughter resonates a special connection when we think of women as our own daughters. Every woman is somebody else's daughter. Daughters' Day is the initiative of International Association of Citizens for a Civil Society a registered non-profit society in Alberta and is supported by 40 plus organizations and individuals who are very much committed to Daughters' Day. Daughters' Day celebrates the lives, contributions and achievements of all daughters wherever they are, creating a culture of gender equality and eliminating violence and discrimination and building a civil society that promotes, supports and enhances the dignity of all its members without leaving anyone behind because of their gender, economic condition, social standing or other factors. We want Canada to be a role model in this process. We are committed to collaborating, advocating, and advancing the interest of all daughters locally, nationally, and internationally. We are deeply saddened to note the recent gang rape of a photojournalist in Mumbai, and we strongly condemn this barbaric act and urge the government of India to win these countries to justice without delay. Daughters' Day is a community event for the whole family, and it includes a commitment walk, proclamation of Daughters' Day, Daughters of the Year presentations, and information fair and other activities, speeches and messages of support, and of course, entertainment. During the months of September and October this year, we are holding numerous community engagement sessions in Calgary, Red Deer, Edmonton, and Slave Lake to learn from various communities both their positive and negative experiences impacting daughters. 
These consultations would lead us into the United Nations International Day of the Girl Child on October the 11th, providing us the opportunity to collaborate with many more public agencies and community organizations for reflection. I wish to thank the Daughters Day founders, advisors, organizing committee, award selection committee, partners, organizations, sponsors, donors, and all levels of government for their strong support. The 10 Daughters of the Year Award recipients, let me say this to you and very clearly. You have made us proud. You are the promise of a more equal world. As your parents, as your grandparents, neighbors, friends, brothers, sisters, and communities, we are all counting on each one of you for your vision and leadership. On our own part, we also promise to reflect and act without being bystanders and to work with you for social justice and a civil society. Knowing that, and this is important, knowing that in doing so, we will enrich our own lives as individuals. Enjoy the celebration. Happy Daughters Day and thank you. Thank you very much. Wonderful. I would like to uh, do a little bit of housekeeping first, just to give you some idea of where things are. Uh, the washrooms, these are very important things to know, uh, are directly uh, located behind the grand staircase here. We have the uh, men's uh, on this side and the women's on this side. We also have a wee wheelchair accessible washroom directly uh, located behind us on the west side over there in that corner. And also there's washrooms also available on the southwest wing and that's on the way to kids in the hall. Uh, the second and third floors though are, uh, are out of bounds for children without their parents. And also we ask for uh, people not to block or sit on the staircase uh, or the aisleways. And of course, the uh, fire exits are clearly marked in case of emergency, so please exit by the nearest doors, north, south, east, and west. All right, thank you very much. Now I'd like to uh, call up uh, Amar uh, Councillor, War 12 Councillor Amarjeet Sohi. Thank you, Lewis. And uh, as Lewis said, let me start off with uh, Remarks. I would also like to acknowledge that we are standing on the uh, Aboriginal Indigenous territory and on behalf of Mandel and entire city council, I would like to welcome to this place. Uh, I have been involved with the uh, Daughters Day from uh, its inception. Dr. Bhatia called me one day and said, Amarjeet, I want to take you for lunch. And, uh, and, uh, and I knew he was up to something. Right? So, and then he got me involved and many others involved. And uh, it, is, it is a remarkable, remarkable event in a sense that we come together to celebrate members of our families, the members of our communities, the members who enrich our lives each and every day, who are our partners, our daughters, mothers, friends, but unfortunately, the society that we live in, whether it's in Canada or other parts of the world, we have inherited some inequalities, injustices. And when we come together like this, we talk about those inequalities, injustices. We also make a commitment to make sure that we do something about it. I think Daughters Day is about that. It is about reaffirming our commitment to create a just and equal society, but also to celebrate those role models, the 10 women that we're going to be celebrating today, who have who are paving the path for others to lead. 
I think that is the most significant sense of this event. And that's why we are so proud to be part of it. So I'm really happy to be here. I'm really happy to see that we have MB Timopo, who's coming here to celebrate with us. Minister Hancock, who has always been a supporter. And the work they're doing through uh, uh, the social development policy, which talks about these kind of ideas and these kind of things how we create a community that is open, accessible, and provides opportunity for all. So thank you for being here. I'm really happy to see my colleagues here. And I would like to invite both of them to come up here with me and so we pro can proclaim this day together. So Don and, uh, and Karen, I don't know if Tony is here. Uh, this might be my last opportunity. <laughs> 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 Anyways, that was joking aside. Whereas, women worldwide face injustices such as abuse, neglect, poverty, and violence. And whereas Daughters Day raises awareness against these injustices, celebrating the lives, contributions, and achievements of women in society. Whereas together we can work to end gender discrimination, Respect the right of girls and women to help build a better life for our daughters in the society. Therefore, on behalf of Mayor Mandel, three of us together, proclaim September 1st, 2013, Daughters Day in Edmonton, Guerra's capital. So thank you so much. And, uh, and finally, finally, on behalf of three of us, we really want to acknowledge the 41 volunteers who are part of us. Without their time, their commitment, this day would not have happened. So thank you so much and also want to acknowledge uh, my wonderful uh, colleagues, uh, Linda Duncan, colleagues in politics and uh, Rachel Notley here. And uh, there are other candidates for school board trustees and, uh, and, and council uh, awards elections. So please meet with them. We really want to appreciate their presence as well. Because if they're here today, it shows that they'll be committed to making a difference. So thank you so much.